does the pain you experience when you burn your hand result so quickly in an action by your muscles? Many animals respond to environmental stimuli using specialized cells called neurons. A stimulus is detected by sensory receptors and the body responds through motor effectors. These cells working together allow you to respond very quickly to threats. When you touch something hot, heat receptors of a sensory neuron detect the stimuli and send the information of heat to an interneuron in your central nervous system. From there, a motor neuron sends a response from your central nervous system to the skeletal muscles in your arm, causing them to contract and pull your hand away. The fundamental process of neural transmission that underlies this action occurs in all neurons of the body. Neurons transmit this information through changes in the electrical potential of the membrane by the movement of ions across the membrane. An electrochemical gradient governs the movement of these ions, resulting in an electrical impulse. The resting membrane potential in a neuron, when the cell is not firing an impulse, is established by the unequal distribution of sodium ions outside of the cell and potassium ions inside the cell, making the outside of the cell more positively charged compared to the inside. The electrochemical gradient is established and maintained by an enzyme called sodium-potassium ATPase. When a neuron is stimulated, sodium ion channels open and sodium ions flow into the cell. This leads to a change in the electrical potential across the membrane called depolarization. The depolarizing electrical potential travels down the dendrites and over the cell body. Multiple electrical potentials will combine at the axon hillock in a process called summation. If the depolarization is large enough, an action potential is triggered. Action potentials are all or none electrical impulses that maintain their amplitude and strength down the length of the axon. The action potential travels down the axon when the depolarization of an area of membrane causes adjacent voltage-gated sodium ion channels to open. The influx of sodium ions results in membrane depolarization along the membrane. After a short delay, potassium ion channels open and potassium ions flow out, repolarizing the membrane. For the neuron to fire again, the resting membrane potential needs to be re-established. Sodium-potassium ATPase is used to move sodium and potassium ions against their concentration gradients, re-establishing the resting membrane potential. As the action potential moves down the axon, Ions are diffusing only a short distance, allowing the signal to move quickly. At the axon terminal, the electrical impulse passes to another cell at a cellular connection called a synapse. The space between the presynaptic neuron and a postsynaptic cell is called the synaptic cleft. The presynaptic neuron contains signal molecules called neurotransmitters, that are packaged inside vesicles. When an action potential reaches the end of a neuron, neurotransmitters are released by exocytosis from the neuron into the synaptic cleft. Neurotransmitters bind to the adjacent cell at receptor sites attached to ion channels. The channels open, allowing the movement of ions into or out of the effector cell, which alters its membrane potential, thereby transmitting the signal from the neuron to the effector cell. Because nerve impulses move very rapidly down the axon of a neuron and move from cell to cell across synapses, you react quickly to a stimulus, like burning your finger.